Got to be efficient. I'm ready when you are, bro. Oh, hey, Colby. How you doing? Good, man. Just kind of maybe looking for an overall take. It's been an interesting couple of days with Rashad Sloan and Jermaine right. and just just how how the group shaping up the last couple of days. We're coming along. We're coming along. I think we're trending in the right direction. Uh, we just got to continue to um, hone in on the details, on the small details of our position. Uh, we started over with the install. We, we, you know, went through the first seven, eight days with the install. Now we're going back to the first day so that we can catch everything and clean up everything that we need to that uh, we didn't get on. The, we didn't clean up or do or uh, do do the way we wanted to do the first time around. Okay, and then how pleased are you maybe overall with depth? And then Braylon Russell, what uh, what will he need to do to maybe fit into the depth this year? Oh, I'm, I'm, I I really like the room that I have. Um, coming coming out the spring, uh, we knew we needed to make some changes, and those changes worked out in our favor. Uh, that's where we were able to go out and get Tyler Reed and um, Rodney Hill, and they've been a great great uh, change for us. Great 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 energy in the room, and uh, it's, it's working out to our advantage. With Tyrell Reed, how did that develop? Like just finding him in the first place because he was kind of a late guy. He was a, a junior college player. I guess he was eligible before, but yeah. with junior college because he was just yeah. A, so he was a guy that uh, that um, they had been recruiting before I arrived. So he was already um, on the radar, and so um, uh, the reason when the guy riding is because we needed a, a, a back in the backfield that can catch catch the uh, catch passes out of the backfield, and that was the reason that we targeted him. And so once we were able to secure that, and then once uh, Dominique Johnson went into the to the portal, uh, Tyrell was still available. So we went and got him. He's pretty like he's not super tall or anything, but he's pretty compact build. Yeah, guy. yeah, a little bit different. Real, I call him little little tank, um, little tank. So uh, he's very strong in the, in the lower body, and uh, we're just you know working on him to. Uh, you know, make that transition, make that jump, because it's different from junior college. So uh, just pushing him through those those growing pains, and uh, he's coming around. The narrative in the spring, people were saying uh, Coach Petrino had mellowed out. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, <laughs> he's still a he's still feisty Petrino, i tell you that. Assuming both are healthy, Jaquin and Jackson and Rashad Binion, how would you like to see maybe the split workload between the two of them this season? Man, whatever they got to do to help us win games is what it's all about. Um, you know, I, I really don't get into I want to see this player carry the ball this many times or this player carry the ball that many times. I just think their presence on the field is, is enough because of, we can lean on their experience. You mentioned some of the guys you lost post-spring, but with Braylon Russell, maybe what you saw out of him in the spring, did that make you a little bit more confident? When you lose guys like that, you you also brought some guys in, but with how mm -hmm. he's been performing, how, how have you liked that? He's been good. He's been good. Uh, he's still a freshman, so uh, it's just, it's a lot different. The volume that we carry on offense is is uh, more than what he's used to, but he's doing a good job of studying and doing all the little and extra thing he needs to do to uh, understand what we're doing offensively. I think, you know, you look at Braylon and you see the size and, and Sam talked about a stiff arm aside from maybe, you know, the the physical nature and his size. What are some things that he does well that might surprise people as a running back? I think he can catch the ball very well out of the backfield. He has nice soft hands. Uh, he can make people miss in the open field when he catch. He did it a couple of times yesterday in the scrimmage. So uh, I think uh, that's another option for us, another weapon for us using him as another receiver from the backfield. How much does it elevate the ceiling of the of the entire running back room when you've got a guy like Taylor who's such a gifted runner of the football? Um, how does that open up things for the it, 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 It's going to put a lot of pressure on the defense that we face, a lot of pressure because not only do you have to worry about the runners in the backfield, but if he gets one-on-one -on -one and get open space, he has the long stride to get it in the end zone. We've seen some pass protection drills. Just who do you think are some of the guys in that group that, you know, are the best of that? Well, they're all good. They're all good. Uh, some need some technique work, but uh, the main thing, you just got to go out there, stop their rush, and stay in position. Um, asked a lot about Braylon a lot, but you didn't recruit him. Um, so I guess what was that period like, kind of trying to gain that buy-in from a guy you didn't recruit coming in as the new coach? Uh, whenever I'm coming into a situation like that, I just try to gain the respect of the room. Um, and then once I gain the respect of the room, then I can go in and coach. So 
It's not hasn't been an issue. And the last thing is uh, Bobby's talked about how important it was with you and Ronnie helping kind of teach the offense since y'all are familiar with it. How do you feel like y'all have progressed with uh, playbook installation? Oh, great. Great. Like I said, we're on our second round of it this fall camp, and uh, we're just only going to get better. I know you never want injuries, but I know Jaquindon and, and Rashad have both played a lot of balls. So, I mean, was it good to maybe get a bit more of an extended look at the other guys in yesterday's scrimmage, and how did they look? Yeah, the opportunity is opportunity. And uh, we know in this game, we know at the running back position specifically that you can get banged up a lot. So uh, those guys have done a great job of stepping in and, and showing their toughness out there on the football field and, and grinding every day. And with Jaquindon specifically, you know, he had a pretty good spring. That's what we saw. Just where has where he made the most strides, you know, from then to now? Uh, just understanding where we want him, where he fits into the passing game, knowing where he is within the progression of the play. So that allows him to say, okay, if I'm third in progression, I could spend a little bit more time in pass protection and then get to where I need to be within the time of the play. Coach, curious for you this morning, kind of when we get to see some of your drills, you're yelling, be violent, be violent when it comes to some of the stiff arm drills. Is that a mentality that you hope that your group has? Yes. Yes, we definitely have to be more dominant. Uh, then I need them to uh, take great ownership in what we do at our position. And as I'm going to always say, we got to earn our respect daily. Uh, no one's going to give it to us. So when we're on the sideline, which is I think is the most uh, violent running on, the, on that part of the field, we got to be violent with it because – Sometimes the defenders that they're coming to approach you, they may shy away from you. But what we're trying to do at that moment is send a message to the next team. Who so far has been the most violent runner you think in your room? Uh, probably me when I turn the film on, on my old clips. Uh, you got a pretty diverse group, though. Like, yes. uh, there's not, I don't think, one guy that I would say is very similar to the next guy. Yeah, I love diversity. I love diversity because it, it, it expands what you can do for the play caller. You know, we want to um, give Coach Petrino as many weapons as he can. And the more you have from the backfield position, the, the, the more deadly we can be as an offensive unit. When uh, J Jackson Devine, when, when those guys are healthy, what do you think are the big things they provide for y'all? Leadership, leadership and experience. Cause they, they, they've been out there in those games. They know what it feels like. And they do a great job of, of teaching the younger guys in the room, you know, when we're in the meeting room or when they're in the back um, and watching, taking those mental reps with the guy, they're saying, Hey, this and that, and I can hear them and they're doing a good job. And, it's a good group. The chemistry in the room is good. It's a nice brotherhood that we have building and growing. And, uh, you know, a lot of them are roommates now that weren't then, you know, when I was, when I came in the spring, nobody were roommates, but now they're becoming roommates. They live with each other. So I could tell that um, the brotherhood is growing. And, and then you've, you've obviously been around Bobby Petrino at, at different spots, you know, over the years. Um, yeah, and if you watch with the part we got to see, he definitely didn't look very mellow out there, I didn't think. Right. Uh, how much do you think he's enjoying being back here and just what do you think it means to him to, to be back here? Oh, it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, I know I know he's enjoying every bit of it. Um, you know, it's an opportunity for him to come out and, and lead this team and, and, and lead us to where we need to go. Did he ever talk to you back, like when you are at Louisville about his time at Arkansas or anything like that, looking back? No. Nah. I mean, we, we, you're pretty much doing what Coach Pittman say, just flush it, move on to the next. So if you live, if you're living in the past, then you're wasting time. What are your thoughts on the offensive line? Um, obviously, there were some struggles with them last year, but it's an important area right. for your group and the offense overall to be able to get running lanes and stuff. I love them. I think Coach Mateos is doing a great job with them. Uh, you know, like everybody else, we all out here to improve ourselves and get better this fall camp. What do you like about Jaquindon's skill set, and how big was it that you, that you got a big back like him? Uh, he's a runner. You know, he's definitely a runner. He's smooth with it. Uh, I think he can do everything that you ask him out of a runner. Uh, he does a great job on um, between the tackle runs because he's big and powerful. And um, I'm just, you know, I just can't wait to see him play. Yeah, and then about Dubinia, just your thoughts on when he's at the top of his game, what do you like about him? I love his initial burst. Um, I love his slash ability, uh, his quickness, uh, his ability to uh, get into those, those small 
uh, seams in the, in the offensive line that we create and uh, the jump cut and the burst out of it. Sure, appreciate you. Thank you, man.